Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at how the first human monkey hybrid embryo was just created. If you're new to this channel, welcome. This is Mr. Singularity, where we explore the scientific and technological breakthroughs shaping the future as we know it. This tale has all the elements of a scandal, first mentioned by the Spanish newspaper El Pas, first is the widely regarded Dr. Belmonte, a Spanish-born stem cell biologist renowned for his breakthroughs in anti-aging work at Salk Institute in California. His love with another? Human-animal chimeras, in which animal embryos are implanted with human cells and grown deeper within the body of a surrogate child. Second, according to El Pes, Dr. Belmont may have partnered with monkey researchers in China to sidestep legal problems in the US and Spain, where primate science is highly controlled. The report has not gone well with Chinese scientists, who are also reeling from the baby fiasco at CRISPR. It makes you think of their justifications for wanting to do this in a Chinese laboratory. Is it because of our advanced high-tech setups, or because of the gaps in our laws? An anonymous commentator on the influential Chinese social network perform WeChat lamented, Their dissatisfaction is understandable. A team from South China came under foreign scrutiny earlier in April to insert extra copies of human thinking genes into macaw monkeys. And China has slacker laws in primate science relative to Western countries, following attempts to revamp its image in biomedical research ethics. If you feel grossed out, you're not alone. It is far from obvious the morals and ethics of that human-animal hybrids. But apart from creepiness, scientists have two incentives to wade into such hot seas. That is, a xenotransplant. For example, Dr. Belmont hopes to develop fully functioning human organs within animals, which, in principle, may render transplantable organ shortages a thing of the past. The other aim is to explain the genes that form our brain in nature and development, those that offer us our exceptional intellect, and those that mess up our neuronal circuitry when they go bad in neuropsychiatric disorders. Organs grown to order. The creation of a chimera by Dr. Belmonte first came to maturity in 2017. His main emphasis was on making a human pig model, which has organs that are strikingly identical in size to ours. Since pigs breed far quicker and already grace our tables as food, the notion of extracting human organs from these surrogates, though also disturbing, appears much less extreme. Dr. Belmont expanded on earlier research that improved functional pancreas in rats for mice. First, on mouse embryo precursors, the team used CRISPR to snip away genes and guide cells to develop into pancreatic, heart or eye. They then repopulated this void with rat stem cells and multiplied into corresponding organs under the guidance of their own genes and held the hybrid animals alive way past adulthood. Then, the team inserted human stem cells into pig embryos that were transplanted into surrogate mother pigs for up to a month to grow. Although the human pig embryos persisted, the rate of transplantation was incredibly low, about 1 in 100,000 cells proved human. The genetic gap between pigs and humans could be too large to cross successfully. You can almost sense the rationale of the team to pass on to chimpanzees, who are physically far similar than humans and may better handle human cells in principle. They used a common method to implant human stem cells into monkey embryos, stripped of genes to direct organ development. The findings are really positive, but refused to say any more until the research found a place in a popular academic journal. The team crossed the line at 14 days of conception to avoid imminent resistance and is before human embryos can grow a central nervous system. The embryos of chimeras are essentially cell balls, and they do not intend to carry such combinations to full length. The issue? It poses the issue of how the concept has succeeded, and even if it did, it doesn't make sense to grow human organs in monkeys, since they take too long to mature. Monkeys often have considerably reduced organs and are inconsistent with adult humans. Many scientists have another view. The findings have validity for Dr. Alejandro de Los Angeles at Yale University, but without the generation of full-grown human organs. This might tell us what kind of stem cells we can use, or certain forms to improve what is considered human rates of chimerism within pigs, he clarified. Nunes had adopted a strong approach. The end aim should be to build a human organ that could be transplanted, but for today's scientists, the direction itself is much more important. She said, adding that the team is developing destruct switches in case human cells form in the monkey's brain. Ubit Setzong? They're also likely to discuss the ability to further evolve these human monkey embryos into maturity. Dr. Belmont is not the only one who crosses the red line. This month, Japan became the first government to allow the termination of human-animal hybrids. Dr. Hiramitsu Nakuchi, a researcher of rodent chimeras at Tokyo University, is one of those willing to develop human stem cells inside rodent embryos and put them to an end, even though he assured nature that he was intending to proceed gradually to alleviate public concerns. Hybrid brains. Maybe perhaps more frightening are studies of Chimera, 
which inject the brain of an object with a dose of human genetics. Scientists developed mice with human astrocyte cells in 2014, non-neuronal brain cells that make up more than half of the brain which sustain neural signals. Human astrocytes are up to 20 times bigger than mouse astrocytes and bear 100 times more links, so they can help organise the brain impulses for information transmission. The hybrids were smarter, they did at least 4 times higher than the usual mice which tested with regular recall check, a whopping effect. Then there's the latest effort by China to introduce human DNA into monkeys. The aim was to unravel the biological origins of intelligence. The genes could be why we're smarter than our primate ancestors. So, the team decided to see whether monkey brains might be more like ours if they were genetically converted with a sprinkling of genetic magic dust. Away from being straightforward on the results, compared to human babies, the prototypes took their brains longer to mature, but their final scale was almost equal to regular monkey brains. On a short term memory check, the models did do well, but with just 5 changed monkeys in the sample, results remained far from being decided. The squad has attracted strong scrutiny for jumping the path of Chimera. On the evolutionary scale, monkeys are much similar to humans than mice, and many believe that endowing them with human genes correlated with brain development would unintentionally offer them a greater sense of self-awareness. That is a terrifying thought, in fact. Laboratory monkeys are inmates locked in cages. What are their implications of their reasoning being theoretically humanised? The Chinese team has set some limits. To be honest, for what's appropriate, scientists have long tiptoed across the red line. Monkeys, for instance, are physically far similar to humans than pigs, rendering their humanization potentially more possible. The team said when it comes to primates and other great apes who are an evolutionary skip apart from us, well, nobody is insane enough to want to create such combinations. And the Chinese experiment definitely won't be the last. Human-monkey hybrid brains are theoretically highly useful in studying complicated brain disorders. De Los Angeles concluded in a scientific paper, Taking Alzheimer's. Given best attempts, we also don't have an animal model that recapitulates the disorder's intricacies, creating a huge obstacle to science as millions struggle. In principle, creating human-monkey chimeras might have a stronger model of brain disorders, for disorders where primate models aren't strong enough, Delos Angeles said. Are you persuaded? I don't feel I am. There is clearly no straightforward moral solution to this. What is obvious though, is that the boundaries are being drawn, pulled, crossed and crossed over again as it comes to human-animal chimeras. We're nowhere near scientifically similar to destroying mutant embryos. Let's only assume we don't get another CRISPR infant fiasco in the near future. Only this time, the babies aren't so normal. If you made it this far in the video, thank you and welcome to the end of the video club. What's your take on this? Let me know down in the comments below and check out one of these other videos. This has been Mr Singularity and I'll see you on the next one.